create cool things. So my day usually starts between six and seven in the morning. And one of the first things that I do is take my dogs for a walk around my neighborhood with my wife. I drink plenty of water as well, but I don't rush to eat breakfast or anything like that. Now, once I'm back from my dog walk, this is when I plan my meals for the day using my fitness pal. And one of the main things I consider before adding up all the calories I'm gonna eat for the day is how many calories I might burn for that day. So I'm gonna consider what muscle groups I'm training as well as how much cardio I'm gonna have time for. Also, I might even consider how active I might be, whether I'm going to be sitting at my desk the whole day working, or if I'm going to be up and around running errands, whatever it might be. Now, keep in mind, I'm planning all this food that I'm going to eat right now, but as the day goes on and as I weigh some of these foods I'm eating, a lot of times that will change a little bit so I can ensure I'm getting the most accuracy out of tracking the food I'm eating. So today, I'm actually trying to create between a five and 700 calorie deficit. I've currently planned to eat between like 2,300 and 2,400 calories, assuming I might be spending a total of about 3,000 calories for the day. Now, this is also time where I'm going to make my protein shake that I'm going to have later in the afternoon. And then it's also when I mix up my Element, which I drink during my workout. Now, I do want to take a moment and tell you about Element because it's such a tasty electrolyte drink mix. And if you live an active lifestyle, I would highly recommend Element. Electrolytes play a massive role in the human body and they facilitate literally hundreds of functions in in your body and I personally love to drink element basically during my workouts and I'm telling you you have to get on board with replenishing your electrolytes and element is just incredible in each 10 calorie packet that doesn't break your fast they've got this science-backed ratio of electrolytes which is a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium as well as 60 milligrams of magnesium it doesn't have any coloring in it or sugar or fillers there's no BS in it it's just a solid science-backed ratio of electrolytes electrolytes that will literally get you through the day. I've actually linked Element below. I'm very appreciative for them being the sponsor of this video and it literally couldn't be a more perfect sponsor. So definitely check them out. Right now Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Brian Adam C. This deal is only available through my link. So you must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Brian Adam C. So if we pull up my fitness pal here for breakfast, I'm having a ghost energy drink. Uh, the sour watermelon flavor is amazing. And that's my caffeine for the day. And then I also add my element powder here, which is 10 calories And neither of these things actually break your fast. So I just put them here in the breakfast category. Not much of a breakfast, huh? So I've got my protein shake waiting for me later in the afternoon. My elements ready to drink up. Now it's time to work out. It's freaking lunchtime and I'm hungry. It's around 2 p.m. and here's what I'm having for my first meal. And again, I'm weighing pretty much everything I'm eating here. 143 grams of blueberries, 200 grams of strawberries. I'm also having a protein bar by Pure Protein. This one happened to be exactly 50 grams and it's 180 calories for 21 grams of protein, which is pretty damn good. As well as some creamy milk chocolate by the brand Lilies. 15 grams of that. I absolutely freaking love this chocolate. Also in my protein shake, I'm having a slate as well as 45 grams of whey protein by Animal and the brownie batter flavor on that is freaking amazing. And if you can't tell, I have a wonderful affinity for chocolate. Also for lunch, I'm having some Raisin the Roof Dave's Killer Bread. And I do weigh my bread before I toast it. That's 32 grams of bread. And then I'm also having one strawberry light and fit Greek yogurt. And these are also fantastic. Also, don't mind me if I'm not looking right at you, but I'm looking at my phone because I'm telling you 
what I ate. So that's my first meal of the day. It's 841 calories as well as 92 grams of protein. So this meal is very, very satiating and pretty much keeps me full almost all the way to dinner. Now that I fully enjoyed that meal, it's time to do a little bit of work on a podcast episode, which if you haven't yet, definitely go check out my podcast. It's linked below. And then I'm going to have a second meal in a few hours. Now it's time for what I like to call like a second lunch and it's around 5 p.m. And all I had for this meal was about 4.6 ounces of chicken breast and I'm factoring in about a quarter tablespoon of avocado oil that that chicken breast was cooked in as well as 101 grams of bell pepper, another Greek yogurt, and then I did sneak in a little bit more Lily's chocolate because oh, it's irresistible, 15 grams of that. So this meal is 347 calories as well as 44 grams of protein. So between both of those meals, I'm looking at almost 1200 calories. That's keeping me nice and full during the day. And I'm getting plenty of protein in here. And if I know I'm going to have a more indulgent evening, this is where I'll simply just start to cut back on some of the carbs. I might not eat the bread or I definitely won't eat as much of the chocolate. And I'll just stick to hitting the protein goals during the day. And then if let's say Ali and I are going to go out to dinner or something like that, I know that I've really tightened up those daytime calories. Now it's time to do a little bit more work as well as make dinner which I'm very excited about because Ali and I are making burgers and fries. Oh, it's going to be so good. So for my dinner meal, it's burgers with an extra burger patty as well as some sweet potato fries. This is exactly how that meal breaks down. I'm using a brioche burger bun. It's 51 grams, 150 grams of sweet potato fries. I measured them frozen. It's very important that when you weigh and track these foods, you're tracking them how they are typically found in the package. So if they're frozen in the package, weigh them frozen because they will lose volume. So if you track 150 grams of cooked sweet potato fries, that's probably going to be a lot more closer to like 200 or 250 grams of sweet potato fries which is a big calorie difference and this is where you have to pay attention to these details to ensure you're getting the accuracy and you're not potentially over or under consuming calories additionally i do have a red onion some tomato tract here but it's such minimal calories i added it for the fun of it but it's not that much to be honest now for these burger patties they're 93.7 lean beef patties i like these because you still definitely get that burger flavor but it's not like this massive amount of fat and these are already pre-packaged at four ounces each so I didn't actually weigh these but I did take into account the oil that they were cooked in I used a tablespoon of avocado oil to cook four beef patties I had two of them so we'll call that about half a tablespoon of avocado oil which does add up that's 62 calories of oil I also used 16 grams of mozzarella cheese and I did not even track the green leaf lettuce because it's pretty much zero calories with the amount of green leaf I'm using. <laughs> and then I did obviously have some ketchup with my burger and fries because I want some ketchup. Come on, dude. So I measured 35 grams of just your basic Heinz ketchup. So this meal comes out to 870 calories with a total of 57 grams of protein. So another very delicious meal here. I absolutely love this burger and fries meal that we make. And if you were to go to a restaurant and order this same kind of meal, they're going to be probably using that near as lean of meat as well as way more oil way more butter those buns are probably soaked in butter and then the fries are deep fried with way more oil so an 870 calorie meal here is probably like 1500 calories at a restaurant because you know they load up that plate with fries as well and you got to eat all of them don't you i mean i want to now that dinner's done it's time to clean up this sloppy mess of dishes here and get into bed and freaking relax
Before I go to bed, I almost always have some kind of snack. And what I had tonight was a skinny cow ice cream cone. I'm not fudging around. Uh, no, that's what it's called. Not fudging around chocolate fudge ice cream cone. It's freaking delicious. It's only 170 calories, by the way. I also did have a protein packed s'mores granola bar by the brand Kodiak. And you know, I had to get a little bit more of that creamy milk chocolate. I had 24 grams of it. So that was basically my last meal for the day. And this ended up being 426 calories as well as 13 grams of protein. So that's all the food that I ate today. Let's go through some of the totals. My move goal for the day was 1282 and I burned a total of 3,253 calories and I ate pretty much 2,500 calories. So that put me at about a 750 calorie deficit for the whole day. And I had 207 grams of protein, 79 grams of fat, as well as 223 grams of carbs, which is pretty solid for me. Again, keep in mind, I had a fairly indulgent weekend. So I I like to take the week and create a pretty sufficient deficit here to balance that out to where I'm typically close to or just slightly under maintenance calories for the whole week. I spent almost 50 minutes on the elliptical burning about 463 calories. I trained my abs for another 68 calories. I also trained my chest for another 290 calories in that outdoor walk in the morning with a distance of about 1.3 miles and another 148 calories there. So I stay pretty active the first part of the day I really get my move goal up in that first part of the day when I'm thinking about what I'm gonna eat I have to take into consideration the amount of energy that I'm also going to be expending this is like the best place to start when you're trying to create that calorie deficit so I hope this video was really eye-opening for you. I've had so many people ask me to make a video like this. And when you do this kind of thing enough times, it becomes super easy because I do understand when you first start out, as soon as you hear the idea of food scale and tracking calories, it's immediately a turnoff. You're like, nah, dude, not going to do that. And I know that because I was in that same spot, but then I spent a few weeks doing it, a few months doing it, and it allows me to enjoy all the foods that I want, still hit my protein goals, still maintain a fairly lean physique, a healthy body weight, and also I can make sure I'm hitting micronutrients as well. Things like fiber, all the vitamins, all the minerals. There's so many aspects to this that keep me dialed in and it makes me a freaking happy, healthy person. And that's what I want for you. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave something wonderfully nice in the comments below. And if you need good music, you're definitely gonna wanna go to moodsounddesign.com. We offer some of the best music for for your videos were linked in the description. Well, friends, it's been fun. I do hate to say goodbye, but this video has to come to an end at some point. So I guess I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Gotta make sure I'm in the right spot here, fam. <clears throat> Time to get things freaking going here. Nice and spicy, hey? Oh, sure. Well, good morning, friends. It's Tuesday, June 20. What day is it? What year is it? <clears throat> now, now keep in mind, now keep in mind, I'm planning the meals. I'm now keep in mind, I'm planning. Now keep in mind, I'm planning all this food. Now keep in mind, I'm planning all this food. I'm going to eat first thing in the morning. <clears throat> now keep in mind, I'm planning all this food that I'm going to eat. <clears throat> and I've done this in a, in an in their ninety three seven their ninety three seven lean their ninety three seven lean their ninety three seven lean beef patties. Um, <laughs> Thank you.